Good morning, everyone. I'm Danny Jones, and welcome into this week's edition of Louisiana Sunday Kickoff. Today, we're in Hammond, home of the Lions of southeastern Louisiana. During today's show, we'll talk with the folks over at Be Quick Athletic Development on how they get players to reach their potential. We'll also go one-on-one -on -one with Tulane head football coach Bob Toledo, and our PelicanPreps.com player profile takes us to Slidell High. But first, we had a visit with former LSU Tiger and 16-year veteran of the NFL, Brian Kinchin, on how he helps players during his fundamental football camp. Well, the camp has originated from an idea that I'd always, I'd always wanted to, to, to have a camp. I had never really, I guess, been fully motivated to do it. I've always wanted to coach. I've always enjoyed coaching. And my youngest child, who's 10, went to camp last year and he experienced some of the camps here locally and I just really wasn't very impressed with the one-on-one -on -one time, the actual coaching that goes on and it, and it sparked me an interest that I had long had to have a football camp to go out and create something that's different, something that's unique where they're actually going to get taught and because of the people that I knew, you look at Tommy Hodson who was a four-time All-SEC quarterback at LSU, my brother Todd who was a two-time All-SEC wide receiver Eddie Fuller, who caught that great catch in the earthquake game. Kyle Williams, who's a current Buffalo Bill and All-American at LSU. Eugene Daniel, probably one of the best cornerbacks ever to play at LSU, especially uh, maybe even in the NFL, really. 14-year guy, Eric Hill, who is another All-American at LSU. Uh, Warren Capone, who won a world championship with the, with the Dallas Cowboys. This is unique in the sense that these guys are older, who've been through it already and I think are prepared to be able to give back and able to give back what they know to these young kids. And that's how it kind of materialized. Our younger group that we're working with right now, they're second through fourth graders, and those are the kids that really are raw and hungry and excited. It's a trade-off though because their attention span is not very long. But to me, they're, the, fun, they're the, the most fun of the two groups because the older kids, the fifth through eighth graders, even though they, they understand you better, they listen better, they have a tendency to, to not really want to listen and, and, and do what you're asking them to do all the time. So it's kind of a trade-off. I enjoy both the groups. That's why I've elected with my camp to do younger kids as opposed to older kids, high schoolers. I wanted to get kids that, that wanted to be out here. Now granted, I'm sure, I know that mom and dad sent a lot of them, but once they get here, and hopefully with their friends around them, get excited about it, which is what we've seen, and have had a lot of fun, and especially when it comes to playing football, which is what every kid loves to do, which is what we're trying to do a lot of out here. It's been a lot of fun. We decided to institute or kind of install a, an eight station defensive circuit and an eight station offensive circuit, which basically you're taking eight different skills that you might do, say defensively, where a cornerback has to read and react to the run and come up and run support. And just kind of making eight different stations to where these kids are not just learning how to play DB, they're not just learning how to play uh, linebacker, they're not just learning how to play defensive lineman, they're learning all the positions. Kids this age really don't know what they want to do. They haven't been around football enough, and even if they do, it's always good for a quarterback to know how a center works. It's always good for him to know how a running back takes a handoff, and so that's where we came up with the circuit idea. And we do it for a couple of days, and hopefully they've gotten something out of it. My main theme for this camp is teamwork. I want them to understand that principle because I believe that's the way I, I coach. I, I te try to teach them that unique uh, idea because I believe it's the essential element of football. It's the essential element of life, of learning how to work in, in the context of team and, and concern more about the team's well-being than yourself. And that's, that's something that we, we've tried to do by putting them on teams when they get here. We have eight different teams for each each group of campers that come in, they have a coach that's with them all the time and trying to learn how that works about getting to know their teammates and investing in their lives and caring about them and, and wanting to do well, not just because they want to become better, but because it's going to make the team better and they don't want to let down their teammate. They don't want to let down their coach. 